Agent 83, as she is mostly called in the secret home she grew up. She doesn't know anything about her family. She has no idea about her childhood. All she knows about herself is that she was brought up at Prescott. Prescott is a government-owned secret training academy where orphans are trained with the responsibility of killing people. Agent 83 is part of the girls and right from childhood, they have been trained to shoot guns, drive fast and roughly, and even escape tricky situations. Hardman heads the facility and they are instructed not to make friends with each other. One of the major aims of putting them together there is to detach them from reality and cut them off from any emotional attachment. During one of their lectures, Hardman tells Agent 83 and the other students to stab some dolls. While the other students get into action, Agent 83 takes the doll and starts drawing eyes on it. Hardman notices this and he calls her to order. He takes the doll from her and asks her if she remembers their mission there, and she isn't there to get attached to anything or anyone. That is exactly what Agent 83 finds it difficult to adhere to, except for the fact that she wishes to make friends and wants someone to call a friend. She's good in every other aspect. During one of her physical training, she defeats a colleague, Agent 83, but tries to help her up, but Agent 84 curses her and leaves. Every other child in the facility has inculcated the habit of detachment except her. Since she is the best, she is the first child in their set that was sent on missions outside the facility. Although that doesn't come welcome by Agent 84, she goes on her first mission to Moscow and enters the train to take a briefcase from her target. She successfully takes the briefcase and returns to the facility. She takes on another job in Berlino. As she watches her targets, she gets attracted to the kids partying at a club. She thinks of what kids her age are doing and she wishes to do the same as them. So she starts her investigation towards that purpose. She buys magazines, watches videos and clips of teens playing around. Later, Hardman calls her and Agent 84 to a meeting. At the meeting, she tells them about Victoria Knox, a trained arms dealer. He tells them they shouldn't mind her pretty face as she will kill anyone. He informs them Victoria Knox was last seen at Corsica some years ago and she was sighted at Cessania about six hours ago and should leave if she isn't caught and brought to the facility. He gives the mission to Agent 83, but Agent 84 protests and reveals that Agent 83 wasn't listening and reading the brief. Instead, she was reading a magazine. Hardman catches her and warns her. Indeed, she goes on the mission, and she's seen among Victoria Knox's culprits. When Victoria removes her head cover, she hits her and throws a rope around their plane. The rope drags her and Victoria towards the plane, and in the process, Victoria tries to shoot her, but she jumps into the water. When Hardman notices she is missing, he tries to contact her, but instead of responding, she sees it as her opportunity to escape and live the life she wants. So she throws her tag into the water and is declared inactive by Hardman. She starts her foreign exchange program admission and she tries to find a home in the USA. She goes to Newton, USA under a new name, Megan Walsh, as a foreign exchange student to stay with the Larsons, consisting of the mother, Penny, the son, Parker, and the daughter, Liz, who is about the same age as Megan. Liz isn't welcoming at all and, in fact, refuses to hug Megan. As they sit to eat dinner, Penny asks Megan to write the list of things she wants to do so Liz can help her experience all she wants to experience. The first thing she wants is to take a bus, but Liz refuses to take a bus with her. The following day, Megan dresses in high heels and a weird makeover and takes the bus to school and stops at the gate. When she enters, all the students look at her weirdly, and a guy even hits her inappropriately. She tries to speak to Liz who warns her that she has just a few months left at school and she won't let Megan mess it up. Liz tells her about the horrible makeup and tells her to clean it and also gives Megan new slippers to wear. Later that day during the assembly, the head teacher attempts to introduce Megan to the students. When she gets to the stadium to introduce herself, the students boo her and they think that she should return to Canada. The embarrassment is mitigated when a band, Emoticon, led by the lead singer, the most popular student Cash, comes to sing. She goes for her lab practical and after some students refuse to let her sit with them, she goes to sit with a student named Roger and becomes friends with him. She gets attracted to Cash, and that night she jumps into the school record room to change Cash's laboratory partner and put her name there. During the biology lab, she sits beside Cash, but two girls insist they are the seat owners. She refuses to give the seat up, and coincidentally, the teacher calls Cash to be his assistant during the class. After the class, some girls collide to convince Megan that Cash likes girls who are school-like, like girls who are mascots, during the dance and all. As a result of that, she joins the team to become the school's mascot. That day, she notices a weird truck parading her school, but she doesn't pay it any mind. During the dance, some students come out masked from the truck and attack her, but she fights them off and defeats them. The other students take videos of this. The boys confess that they are just upholding the mascot tradition. 
She worries that she has destroyed her chance of settling in well, but Penny hugs her and tells her that high school is that way. The following day, she finds out she is viral on the internet, and Cash also invites her to his practice. She spends time with Cash and Roger that day. Unfortunately, Hardman's girl catches her. She is taken to Hardman, who assumes she is working for another organization, but she reveals that she wants to be a child. She pleads with him to give her a chance to tie loose ends at school, and she will return, so he allows her to leave. She returns to school where Roger asks if she will attend a colleague Bernard nicknamed Gooch's party. She decides to attend and she also tries to convince Roger to go with her, but Roger tells her that his father gets defensive and may not allow him. She takes her meal away from Roger and goes to sit with Cash. That evening, Liz tries to convince Penny not to let Megan attend the party, especially because Gooch is a known nuisance at school. Penny insists that if Liz wants to be sure Megan is good, she should follow Megan. At the party, Megan sees Agent 84, now Heather, and she confronts 84, wondering if Hardman sent 84 to her. She also smells 84 using a popular perfume brand, Kaisha. During the party, 84 tries to take cash from her, and she also competes with 84. On the other hand, Liz drinks with one of her classmates, Bernard, and gets drunk. Roger also takes Megan's advice and attends the party, but he finds Megan kissing Cash, so he walks away. Liz eventually comes downstairs drunk. Megan feels like taking her home, but Cash asks her out for breakfast. 84 is ready to go if she refuses, so she gives Liz a pillow and attends the breakfast, where Cash invites her as his date to the homecoming. Liz gets home with images of her face, and Penny tells Megan that in a family, they protect each other, and she should have done that instead of leaving Liz. That day, Hardman also meets with Megan and informs her that Victoria has escaped, and some of the girls lose their lives in the process. He tells her Victoria will come for her, but Megan refuses to leave her life and leaves. That day, she goes on a drive with Liz, and a car starts chasing them. When she eventually catches up, she smells 84's perfume in the car. She takes Liz to the hospital and informs Hardman of 84's betrayal, but Hardman tells her he thought 84 was dead during Victoria's escape, and Megan is now on her own. Megan confesses to Liz about who she really is, but to her shock, Liz welcomes her, and they hug. Liz also starts a relationship with Bernard. She becomes good friends with Megan, and they prepare for the homecoming together. On that day, Cash and Bernard come to pick up their dates at home. At the party, Megan realizes she is really in love with Roger and not Cash. She sees Roger and goes to meet him but finds 84 there. 84 says she is Roger's date, and a fight starts between them. They fight in the kitchen where 84 tells her how much she hates her and how Victoria is at home with Penny and Parker. 84 holds a knife and prepares to stab Megan, but Liz comes in at the right time and stabs 84's leg. After they defeat 84, they leave to go home. Indeed, Victoria holds her family at ransom and reveals that she is Prescott number one, the first Prescott claiming she has something in common with Megan. After some rounds of fighting between Victoria and Megan, Hardman arrives and tranquilizes Victoria. The family hugs happily, and Megan hugs Hardman for coming for her. He also admits that they have an attachment. He gives her the key to his helicopter to attend her dance and takes Penny away to uncuff her. She returns to the dance but can't find Roger. She rides to find Roger in the car with his father, and she apologizes to him with flowers and takes him into the helicopter too. As she rides away, she admits that Hardman was right about attachments, but they make life worth living, and there is nothing wrong in loving dangerously.